Hello, I'm Snedi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon machine image of an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance that's backed by Amazon Elastic Block Store for both Windows and Linux using the AWS Management Console or the command line. Let's get started. Let's begin by creating an AMI of an Amazon EC2 instance that's running Windows. A Windows AMI must be created from an Amazon EC2 instance. Creation of a Windows AMI from an EBS snapshot is not yet supported. We'll repeat the same process for Linux once we are completed with Windows. You can launch an instance from an existing or a new Windows AMI, customize the instance, and then save this updated configuration as a custom AMI. Instances launched from this new custom AMI will include the customizations. To help categorize and manage your AMIs, you can assign custom tags to them. You can create an AMI using the AWS Management Console or the command line. To do this, you start by launching an instance from an AMI that's similar to the AMI that you want to create. Then you customize it, create a new AMI from it, and finally, you launch an instance from your new AMI. First, Log into the AWS Management Console and navigate to the EC2 console. In the navigation pane on left, under Images, choose AMIs. Use the filter options to limit the scope of the list of AMIs you want to view. For this video, I'll be selecting an AMI owned and already created by me. Choose Launch Instance from AMI if it's a new console or Launch if it's the old console. Enter the name for your AMI and accept the default values as you strip through the wizard. Or you can modify them as needed. For example, change the instance type, network settings, key pair login, or add tags. After the settings are configured and selected, choose Launch Instance. When the instance is ready, connect to it. When you connect to the instance after it passes status health checks, you can customize it for your needs. For example, you can install software or applications, copy data, attach additional EBS volumes, create new user accounts, and so on. For this video, I'll be attaching an additional volume. After customizing this instance, go to Instances in the Navigation pane, choose Instances and then select your instance. Choose Actions, Image and Templates and then choose Create Image. Note that if the option to create image is not turned on, then your instance is not an EBS bag instance. Now, specify a unique name for the image, for example, Custom Win 2022 and then add an optional description. By default, when Amazon EC2 creates a new AMI, it reboots the instance so that it can take snapshots of the attached volumes while data is at rest so that it can make sure there's a consistent state. For the no reboot setting, you can select the enable checkbox to prevent Amazon EC2 from shutting down and rebooting the instance. Here, you can also modify the root volume, EBS volumes, and instance store volumes as needed, including adding or deleting EBS volumes. Two things to note here are, it is not a best practice to turn on no reboot because the file system integrity of the created image cannot be assured. During the reboot, the public IP address and instance store volumes for your instance remains the same. When you're finished, Choose Create Image. While your AMI is being created, you can choose AMIs in the navigation pane to view its status. Clear your previous filters and then choose Owned by Me from the drop-down list. Initially, the status is pending, and after a few minutes, the status changes to Available. When the AMI is available, you can choose to launch an instance from your new AMI. The new running instance contains all the customizations you applied in previous steps, along with any additional customization that you might add when you're launching the instance. 
Now that you know the process for Windows, let's create an AMI if your instance is running Linux. The process for creating an image for Windows and Linux is the same. However, one difference here is that you can create an AMI from a snapshot in case of Linux. First, let's discuss how to create a Linux AMI from an instance. Just as with Windows, to create an EBS-backed Linux AMI, start from an instance that you've launched from an existing Amazon EBS-backed Linux AMI. This can be an AMI that you got from the AWS Marketplace, an AMI that you created using the AWS Server Migration Service or VM Import Export, or any other AMI that you can access. Just as in previous steps, the process lets you customize the instance and then create and register a new AMI that you can use to launch new instances with these customizations. Log into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the EC2 console. In the navigation pane on left, under Images, choose AMIs. Apply filters to find an existing AMI that is similar to the AMI that you want to create. Now, launch an instance from existing AMI by choosing its checkbox and then choosing Launch Instance from AMI if it's a new console or Launch if it's the old console. Enter the name for your AMI and accept the default values as you step through the wizard or modify them as needed. For example, change the instance type, network settings, key pair login, or add tags. When the settings are configured and selected, choose Launch Instance. When the instance passes both status checks, connect to your instance and then customize it. For example, install software, attach volumes, and so on. When the customization is completed, select this instance and then choose Actions, Image and Templates, and then Create Image. Now, to create the new image, the steps are the same as when creating a Windows AMI. That is, enter the image name, modify volumes, add tags, and so on. Again, to view the status of your AMI, choose AMIs in the navigation pane to view its status after choosing Owned by Me. Wait for the AMI to be in available state before launching a new instance from it. To create an AMI from an instance using the command line for Windows or Linux, you can use one of the following commands. Use create image for AWS CLI or use new EC2 image for AWS tools for Windows PowerShell. So now you know how to create an AMI for Windows and Linux from an instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.